I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I am late. On February 20th, Exactly one month before the release of the game, Nintendo released another Animal Crossing Direct, where we got to see pretty much everything we were going to be able to do in the new Animal Crossing New Horizons. As a community, with every little bit of information we've been getting, we have been going insane. So this was- Yoni. And now, we're going to watch it. Nearly half an hour of nothing but more and more and more information on everything we are going to be able to do in New Horizons. And you've definitely already seen it because I am very late. But now you'll be able to watch it with me as I break out. I got my bunny slippers on. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. for choosing the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. This is Her like mingling with neighbors. Oh my gosh. She's beautiful. Look at Bunny. Sorry, I'm just like, those flowers look huge. Those flowers are humongous. Those flowers are huge. Designing your home and simply enjoying life. Look at the water flow. Do you guys see the trees? The leaves are huge. The way it moves. Since we're nearing departure, it's high time we detail the many features and perks included in the getaway package. Would you like to live in the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere? Don't worry, no matter which you choose, you'll experience all that the Four Seasons have to offer right from your island. Why is it just now hitting me that the Northern and Southern Hemisphere's seasons are opposite to each other? This feature is so important and now those playing in the Southern Hemisphere will finally get the full Animal Crossing experience. I grew up in the Northern Hemisphere and the Animal Crossing games have always been set in the Northern Hemisphere. That meant that by December it was winter and when it would begin to snow outside it would be snowing in my Animal Crossing town as well. By September the leaves would be orange for autumn and by March it was spring and when the flowers would begin to bloom cherry blossoms had already taken over my Animal Crossing town and in June we had long sunny days both in real life and in game. The game was set in real time. When the developers of Animal Crossing wanted to localize the game for release in the West, or more specifically North America, they updated the game to have new holidays and events that would be more relatable in North America. So those playing had more to relate to, familiar things to indulge with. From the time of day and the seasons changing in real time to including Western holidays, this was all done on purpose. Animal Crossing is a life simulator and these details were meant to make us feel more at home when playing. But some of these changes were according, generally speaking, to the Northern Hemisphere. So the seasons for those playing in the Southern Hemisphere never matched in game. But that changes now that we have the opportunity to choose which hemisphere we want our deserted islands to take place. You won't have to wait long for the cherry blossoms to be in full bloom. Oh my gosh, we're going to be in time for the cherry blossoms. I know we all loved seeing the petals from the cherry blossom trees flowing in the sky as we walk around our towns. Summertime.
and brings his own share of delights, you'll see a well- Guys, the detail. These insects don't really bother me or make me uncomfortable. Not to mention a veritable treasure These look bugs hyper the realistic. As you can see, when the seasons change, the activities available to you change along with them. The simple joys Whoa! of- Whoa! I need to know. Look, okay. I know we all remember the mushroom furniture. When I finally got Animal Crossing New Leaf, I was very late. I got it in 2018. Yes. Yes. And I got the game in the fall of 2018. I remember picking up mushrooms, and some of them were actually furniture. But now I need to know. Those mushrooms are huge. Are you- <laughs> Are those- Is that furniture, or is that actual mushrooms? Because in real life, mushrooms can grow to be humongous. So is that furniture? Because that looks like a table. And if you can put something on it, it's probably furniture. But what about that red one? What is that? The island is such a great setting for your new life. Does she just shake a Christmas light or garment? A Christmas garment off of the tree? Is that what that was? If they're not sure where to move, Please help them find the perfect place for their new lives as well. Hopefully, you'll agree that cooperation between residents can be pretty fun. I know we all love that. I know we all love the fact that now we get to choose where the villagers end up. I have yet to meet a single person that feels otherwise. Gosh, okay. Ugh. If any of you know me as Mayor Elcita, which I do believe the majority of- Hello. You know that my town in New Leaf is covered in patterns, and the houses are placed kind of next to each other. I- it took me hours. I set up my town so that the houses would only land, like new houses and new people, would only land where I wanted them to. They will fall on any space that's clear that doesn't have a pattern on the ground that's bigger than 3x3. Three three. So if, if I had a space that was bigger than 3x3 three three and it wasn't like too close to a cliff end, which is they can't really park themselves there, or too close to a public works project, I would make sure that somewhere there would be a block, like a pattern on the ground, basically to remove the fact that it was a 3x3 three three spot. So no house could possibly land there. I did have one garden, like uh, an area that was specifically just for flowers. It was, that was about four by four, I think, or five, I don't remember. And I had placed one block in the middle of it. One pattern square on there, just so that if a new house were to come in and I wasn't aware of it, I was at least certain that they wouldn't land in that flower patch. I hadn't played in about two weeks. I come back. And there's a house being ready to be built in that flower patch. The only flower patch in the entire town. I had no idea how this happened. Then I realized when I had a visitor, I tried to move the flower pattern around. But I was like, I'll get back to this later. I saved the game, I left. And since I never came back to fix that, I was so frustrated. Then it was a matter of trying to get them out of there. And I know I am not the only one. I'm one of so many people who have experienced that and have been... Who had experienced that and... But yeah, the, all I'm saying is that this feature, I know everyone was excited about. Visit this tent in the plaza to The plaza, residents. okay. Did I say that weird? So that entire section with the dirt is the plaza. Wait a minute. Do you guys remember when if you would walk on a certain area, a certain patch of grass too much, it would start to fade and eventually just become a dirt? Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. By attending our free DIY workshops, <laughs> you learn how to craft a variety of items. Okay.